Imagine that you're getting ready to a party. You feel very excited, but also nervous at the same time. You got this feeling in your stomach, almost like another heartbeat. You started wondering, who should I talk to when I get there? What if no one wants to talk to me? And what if they think that I'm weird? When you arrive at this party, someone comes up to you and then starts talking to you. And as this is happening, your mind starts racing. And you start sweating and it feels almost like you're disassociating with yourself. Keep it together, you say, but you just can't and it just keeps getting worse. And after a few minutes of this conversation, the person you've been talking to leaves and then you feel utterly defeated. Imagine if every time you go out in crowded places, you feel this panic starting to arise. When you're surrounded by lots of people and to prevent this from happening, you started avoiding a lot of places, which makes you feel lonely and isolated. And what I can tell you is that anxiety is very common. Right now, 1 in 14 people around the world have anxiety disorder. And each year it costs over $42 billion to treat this mental health problem. To show you the impact that anxiety has on someone's life, I'll just mention that anxiety can lead to depression, school dropouts, suicide, and it makes it harder to focus and to hold down a job and it can lead to a relationship breakdown. A reason why so many people don't know about anxiety is because anxiety can be in various types. Is it your personality? Is it an illness? Or what is it? That's why it's important to differentiate anxiety, normal anxiety with anxiety disorder. Normal anxiety is an emotion that we all get when we are in stressful situation. For example, let's say you're out in the wood and you come face to face with the bear. This will probably want you to start acting like crazy. This anxious feeling that you get is good because it protects you, it saves you. But when this, when this anxiety emotion arises in situation which don't pose a real threat, then that is when you might have anxiety disorder. For example, People with anxiety disorder worry constantly about everything going on in their lives and they find it very difficult to control this worry. They also have symptoms like restlessness, fear, and they find it hard to feel asleep at nights and they just can't concentrate in themselves. There is something that you want to do to lower it. All too often, we are, giving, we are given medications for this mental disorder, but it always doesn't work in the long run. Today I'll be talking about three coping resources. <clears throat> and the first one is feeling like you're in control of your life. A way to overcome this lack of control in your life is to do it badly. That's a quote written, anything worth doing is worth doing badly for the first time. The reason why this works so well is that it speeds up your decision making instead of just paralyzing you and making you afraid to even begin. The second coping strategy is to forgive yourself and this is very powerful if you use it. People with anxiety think a lot about what they are doing wrong, their worries and how bad they are feeling. Imagine if you, have a, if you had a friend who constantly pointed out everything you are doing wrong and everything that's wrong with your life. You would probably want to get rid of this person, right? While people with anxiety do this to themselves all day long. They are just not kind to themselves. So maybe it's time to start being kinder with ourselves. And the last but not the least, having a purpose and meaning in life. As uh, one of the famous neurolog neurologists said, for people who think there's nothing to live for, there's nothing more to expect from life. The question is getting these people to realize that life is still expecting something from them. Doing something with someone else in mind can carry you through a lot of tough times and you'll know the reason why for your existence. So I would like to conclude with this. Another way you can do something with someone else is in mind is by finishing the work that might benefit you in the future generation. Even if these people will never realize what you have done for them, it doesn't matter because you will know the uniqueness and the importance of your life.